Today we're making the Mr. Bally High minus the Bally High mug. Stay tuned to hear a little bit about the history of this drink and uh, get some tasting notes. Tasting! Rum! Welcome to Cotton Man Cocktails. I'm Derek, that's Dan, that's Ian. This is Tiki Month. A whole month a of tiki. tiki. You're gonna learn stuff. Where the hell is my Tiki shirt? How come you didn't get us Tiki shirts? I came Gosh. up with Tiki Month like at your house last week, didn't I? And he's been pretty yeah. busy. Yeah. So I know. Okay. We'll, we'll give him a break. At we'll least give him a break on this drinks. one. All right. Today we're making the Mr. Bally High from 1953. That's what we're doing. The recipe is, yeah, then yeah. we can get into history, one and a half ounces of pineapple juice, an ounce of lemon juice, half ounce of simple syrup, three quarter ounce of coffee brandy, an ounce of light Puerto Rican rum. We're using Bacardi regular for that. And one and a half ounces of dark Jamaican. And we got some plantation original dark for that. We do. Now this recipe was suggested by Daniel Ontiveros. I'm going to say your name wrong. Um, and I pulled this, I believe, out of Beach Bum Berries Remixed. This is a recipe from the Bali High Restaurant, which I believe is, was, is or was in San Diego? It has a San in it, I think. A San? There's a lot I think of it's San Diego. San um, Francisco? San Bernardino? Be, no. Now, San Jose? Santa Clara? No. No. Santa Clara? No. I think it was San Diego. Because it's warm there. So, <laughs> well, they're all warm. I'm just, I'm just saying. That's why I took the pause and just lift my hands going, I'm an idiot. Um, you're, Santa this, Anna. this specific drink is shaken with crushed ice. You'll see that a lot in Tiki. It's going to be a shaken or a five second pulse. For a five second pulse later on in the month, we'll use this. So, That's a hell of a pulser. I know, and I haven't used it yet. And this is going to be my first challenge. Is it <laughs> like. That's yeah, the, where are we going to plug that uh, in? i got to figure it out. In the power outlet down here? We're going to plug it in wherever we're going to use it. Extension cord. Um, so a little bit of history on this, circa 1953. Um, I think, what was I going to say here? The recipe, oh, yes, this is one of those recipes that's gone through like a bazillion variations because Tiki's drinks seem to do that. Everybody comes up with one. So if you go to a Polynesian restaurant or a Chinese food restaurant, which I think is one and the same, and you order Mr. Bali High, it might not be this recipe, but if you're making it at home, if this recipe's good, and Jeff Barry says it is, so it must be good. So it must be good. We're gonna use this one. Um, you, we're looking at like, what, 50 years that it could have changed. And this recipe is actually from the 1970s, I believe, and around that era. Um, so Jeff, in Jeff's book, he said that he found a paper tacked to a bulletin board <laughs> in the break room I, I'm suggesting that this is a regular high. pour. We're not straining this one. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a... crushed ice. Um, and he's and that's where he pulled this recipe from, and then mar modified it because that recipe called for um, some artificial sour mix, and nobody wants that. Shit. No. So that should be illegal. Does that look good on the camera? I'll be right back. <laughs> I just want to make sure. You know, so he had to leave yeah, for a minute. Technical difficulties. Yes. I'm here. This looks awesome. I'm really excited about that. It looks good. It almost looks like a mud, not a mudslide. Uh, White Russian. If it was Tastes good. Too. Tastes yeah. good? Mm. You got quite the sipper on there. Mm -hmm. And this is a strong one because it's clocking oh, yeah. in over three ounces of booze. Oh, yes. Mm. It's strong and yeah. it's supposed to be served in a Mr. Bali High mug, which I don't have because they're vintage. Oh, that's good. Um, I, just got, I like the coffee nuance too. Mm. Yeah. It's um, good use of coffee, Brandy. If you ice, you know what? I have the book. This is what you need to do. I'm going to put an affiliate link below so you can give me money for this. And considering it's probably like $10, I won't make very much. Oh wow, it's thirty dollars. Um, so buy this. Or maybe you will. It, it's actually there two books in one remix. And in here, there's a photo. I'm not going to search for it and waste your time, but there's a photo of Jeff mm. in the '70s. Mm. You you guys both met. Uh, yeah, Jeff, Jeff Barry, right? Yep. Yeah. He's got the gray beard and everything. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. In the '70s, they have a photo of him, and he's totally fucking wasted, <laughs> like sitting at the bar with a bunch of these little uh, Bali High tiki mugs because they in wanted to collect. Yeah, they wanted to collect them. There's like a little. I won't Polaroid. give away, but I will look. Um. Uh, He's, he said he wanted to collect them. The only way to collect them is you had to buy the drink, so you keep the mug, right? Which everybody's <laughs> right. probably made that incessant decision yeah. at some point in time. So I think he said he got three or four deep, and then the waiter was like, what are you doing? He's like, we want to collect the mugs. He's like, well, if you want to meet me out in the uh, downstairs at the restaurant, I could sell you one for, uh, I could sell them to you for like $2 a piece. So they end up doing that because they're just getting wrecked. <laughs> That's not but he's just sitting fun. there in the in the seat, and you're like, in with his buddy, and this is a little Polaroid, and he's... <laughs> um, but, no, me. Mm, you just took that. Mm -hmm. Tasting notes. Coffee. Sweet. I go with some Kahlua flavor to it. It's, it's not really... It's it's sweet, but... Yeah, is that not. him? Yeah. Oh, wow. 
Actually, we met him at the restaurant. Yeah, no, he looks. Yeah. Look, it's his seventies. Not. He, I know yeah, he's yeah. he's not gray in this yeah, picture. Yeah, so he's younger. Yeah. Um, it's got like the coffee note, the sweet, and it has that dark rum mm. funkiness. It has the pungency. And as we learned from pungency. the Rumsons guys, that uh, citrus goes well with coffee, so the lemon and the coffee yeah. go well in here. Yeah. And it just makes you want to keep drinking because of that. That's the, that's, why, that's, no, that's why I want. Well, this one's definitely thing. not tart. No, but it's not. It's not super it's sweet either. No, it's probably that, the alcohol. Yeah, because mm. the lemon brightens it up. Yeah, this. Yeah. Now this book, this will go into our cocktail database. Recipe to Ozrace.com. You can search for Mr. Bally High, or you can just click the link below. It'll send you there. That way, you have the recipe. You can bookmark it on your phone. You can make it at home with your friends there for you your tiki month or week or day or night or party. Yeah, why not? Or kept just getting shorter, and shorter. Day. I don't like that direction. No, make it a tiki summer. Tiki, tiki summer. summer. Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go long distance. You're gonna drink this for a tiki night, and you'll be a tiki blackout. So I did my. I'm, I'm running my order backwards. Executive producers Elliot McCraner. Uh, mm. Another Patreon subscriber for two years. Also, you should like this video because it's Mr. Valley High and it's Tiki Month. You should automatically like it, subscribe, and click the little bell icon so you get emails whenever I put on a new episode. So like when we went live a half hour ago, you would get an email saying, hey, you're missing out on this radical action. Exactly. Was it the, the radical thing? Weird? It's a little bit. Well, yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's a throwback, hey. It's, yeah. It's We're okay. throwing back to Tiki. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 cool. all, it's all throwback. Even though Tiki started in the 30s, whatever. Yeah. G. Wilkers. <laughs> Were they saying Gosh, quiet? golly. <laughs> is that. Humdinger? Humdinger. Humdinger. You said something. <laughs> <laughs> so, go make this because it's. I, and it's not complicated. You have to get a bottle of coffee brandy, not too expensive. The use of that's yeah. like. Yeah, I mean, this has got to be nothing. Less than 10 bucks. Less, yeah. less than 10 know. bucks if you get like the. Yeah, because it's really not. Like, that's not expensive. No, and you know what? I bet you if you used a coffee rum instead. You're gonna get it. I taste it. It tastes like coffee. Like coffee yeah. rum tastes like coffee. It's I don't. It's probably a rum base and not a brandy base, and they lie to you. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing the uh, type of coffee liquor that you use could, cool, have, could deflect the flavor. Yeah. If you use the uh, it can make it a little bit stronger. It's very Patrons. coffee flavor. Yeah. Patron, uh, Kalu yeah. will make it a little Catholic sweet. Patron, yeah. So if you need substitutions for this, you can also use Myers's. It's going to even be more funky and potent right. than this would be. And then your Puerto Rican rum, uh, you could use Captain Morgan Light. You can use Bacardi, which I'm fairly certain everybody can get. But if you're one of those people who hates the man, you could probably get Cliche or one of these other brands yeah. that has their own Puerto Rican There's rum. There's plenty of them out there. And if that doesn't work, just use a different island. I would suggest like uh, Nicaragua or maybe Panama, uh, Cuba. Like if you, if you can get Havana Club, mm -hmm. we've used yeah. Havana Club yeah. a lot. That would work. Anything in that area, Spanish, Puerto Rican. That's it. Uh, let's see. Sidebar. We'll have some videos over there. I think I'm gonna put the Tiki Month playlist. Tiki, yeah, Tiki Month playlist over there. And then down below is the Austin Drink Starter Kit, so you can make this cocktail by shaking it with your hands and the devices you buy in the kit. I look like a professional. Mm. Yep, I look like or a some professional. Or thereof. Yeah, exactly. Not, but whatever. <laughs> That's it, my friends. We're teaching you how to drink.